Olympic and world champion fencer Marielle Zagunis, and today I'm going to talk about focus. It's very important, especially in saber fencing that happens so fast, to keep a good focus on your opponent. Now, these visor masks were implemented in 2003 as part of saber fencing, and it's really cool because not only can you see your opponent's eyes, but the rest of the audience can really focus in on what you're looking at. And if you ever watch, um, you know, fencing on TV, and you see, um, and you, and they zoom in close on the fencer's face, you don't see their eyes going all around. You don't see their eyes looking at the feet or at the referee or at the crowd. It's a very, very strong focus on your opponent. And so what we're looking at, you might wonder, is not really anything too specific on your opponent, but if you're in an unguard position, you really have a soft focus kind of on this part of your opponent so you can really encapture the blade and their body. You're not looking at their feet because their feet can do all sorts of crazy stuff, but you're really looking at their body at the same time paying attention to the position that their blade is at. So when I'm looking at my opponent, I'm really focusing in on how close I am to them or how far away I am to them and their blade position. And my blade is usually going to go opposite of where their blade is just because I want to make sure to keep it out of the way. Now if you ever see, again, if you watch it on TV and you see a close up of a saber fencer's eyes, you don't see them looking all around. You see them very concentrated on the opponent's body and the opponent's blade. And the most important thing about having that focus means that you can beat the blade out of the way if you need to, you can parry if you need to, if you see that their body is all of a sudden this close to you, that you can get out of the way. So part of having that soft focus on the opponent's whole body is to recognize the distance and the blade position, and then you can know what they're going to do and predict it a lot better if, uh, than you would otherwise if you're looking at their feet or concentrating on something else that's happening around you. So focus is very important, both uh, mentally and physically. So that's what we're thinking about when you see our eyes focused on our opponents. And that's what you should think about too. I'm Marielle Zagunis. That's your tip of the day. Thanks for watching.